Grabs Racing. I want to go over some uh, Mega Squirt stuff. Um, the first little segment here is going to be um, how to use timed retard after launch. And what this does is it gives you a little graph to be able to pull timing after you let go of your trans brake button. So you set up your launch um, trigger in Tuner Studio and mine set up on the trans brake button. And then uh, when you release the button, it starts a timer. And so, you know, however many seconds out, you can do various things. You could pull boost or ramp boost in. Uh, you could use this timed retard after launch, which I'm going to show you here. Uh, we use we like the timed retard after launch. Brooks says that it is it's using electronic timing control is a lot faster than trying to manipulate your uh, boost solenoids. That's mechanical, and so if we can control it electronically, it's a lot faster. And we're seeing close to full boost at one second into the run, so we need something that works really really fast uh, to control. Uh, our power basically we're doing power management so it works two ways it can help you from spinning say if you got too much power coming in and you're overpowering the tires you could pull a little bit of timing and control the wheel spin and we're using it actually to try and control wheelies my car is when the boost comes in it's starting to, to wheelie so we put this uh, timed retard after launch in to try and keep the front end down so it'll pull just a little power and how we set that up is we go here to advanced engines uh, timed retard after launch now, let's see if you gotta set this up uh, yeah you may have to turn it on if you go advanced launch two step and down here at the bottom is timed retard you can you can turn this off or on we turn it to on and that'll enable this menu timed retard after lunch and what we're doing here let's see get this on at 0.5 seconds after I let go of the button we pull 8 degrees and then we ramp it back in uh, over half a second so from 0.5 to 1 it's ramping down here you can see we shoot up to, to 8 and then we ramp back down and that that's helped us quite a bit I talked to uh, David from IDS, and he said they uh, they launch on full boost, so we're only launching on eight or ten pounds, and then using this time retard after launch. He says they leave on thirty pounds and have about eighteen degrees pulled out and ran it back in. Uh, maybe I'll get there sooner or later, but we're not there now. Anyhow, it's helped with the wheelies for sure, and I'll I'll show you in the log here how it works. Uh, this green line here is the TPS. This is my throttle position. So uh, this is 100%. This means I've got the pedal on the floor. Uh, my RPMs are in the white. You can see them start coming up. And then I have a, a delay here. Or a, let's see. This is my two-step. I have it set to 4,500, which will just hold my RPMs there. It pulls the timing. As you can see, this yellow is my timing. So it's at 24 degrees. And then when I hit 4,500 RPM, you see my timing starts bouncing up and down. And that's what's keeping me at 4,500. Now this dark blue line here, this is my boost. As I'm on the two-step, you can see my boost come up. Um, and this looks like it's probably going to be about an eight, nine-pound launch. And so it's holding me there so that I can have 4,500 RPM and, and nine pounds of boost. And then this red line is when the timed retard after launch timer kicks off. So essentially when this red line starts, that's when I let go of the button to take off. And so we, we discussed that the yellow was the timing. You can see the timing come up here. And then this uh, down here is my launch timed retard. So we can see that it's telling it to pull the 8 degrees. And we can see that big chunk of 8 degrees come out right there. And then as it ramps back in, you see my timing flatten back out. And this blue line down here is the front wheel speed. You can see it still did a wheelie, but it's not near as bad. It catches me right here. This white one's when the real wheel, real wheel starts turning, and then the front wheel starts turning. It still does a little bit of wheelie because you can see that the blue um, doesn't uh, pick up until about 
1.3 seconds out, but it was a manageable wheelie. It wasn't going and then going up and not coming back down. So anyhow, if you're having problems with spinning or wheeling, you can use this timed retard after launch, and it works really well. Post up in the comments if you got any questions. We'll answer whatever you need, whatever you want to know about. Just let me know, and uh, we'll cover it. Like and subscribe. We'll have some more Mega Squirt uh, specific videos coming up pretty soon. Thanks.